Today I'm going to show you how to set up the DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor coming up next. <laughs> I need to measure and monitor water temperatures for an aquaponics project, and this is perfect for this application. I've included a link in the video description to the datasheet, so you can read that if you want to get more of the technical specifications. Okay, let's go. The supplies I'm using today include a 4.75 kilo ohm resistor, the sensor of course, breadboard, jumper cables, and the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, there's only three wires on this thing. Red is for volts, 3.3 volts, black is ground, and yellow is the data wire. So I'm going to put these three wires into the breadboard and then make the connections. I'm plugging in the red wire, which is 3.3 volts, into the Raspberry Pi, and then there's the yellow data wire, and I'm going to plug this into the GPIO4. Then I'm going to plug the ground pin in. So I've got the jumper wires connected from the sensor to the Raspberry Pi, and now I need to add the resistor. And basically, this resistor is going to connect the 3.3 volts to the signal wire. And that's really it for the wiring. Okay, now let's initialize the device on the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing that we need to do is configure it for the Raspberry Pi uh, to use one wire communication. And this is the protocol that's going to be used to pass the temperature data from the sensor to the Raspberry Pi. So go ahead and open up the shell. Then type in sudo raspy-config. Then select interfacing options. Select one wire, then select yes. At this point, you may be asked to reboot your system. So go ahead and do that now. The good thing about this is that now, without having done anything else, this device is actually collecting data now and outputting it to a file. I'm going to navigate to the file and show you where this data is being stored. And this is the file that we're going to read from the Python script that we have to write. Then type ls to list the contents of the directory. You'll see a folder that has a name starting with 28, and this is the ROM of the DS18B20. If there's additional sensors, there's going to be a separate ROM folder for each sensor. This allows you to specifically identify the data coming from each sensor in your code. If you open up the sensor folder and type ls, you'll see several files and folders. The file that we're concerned about is the one called w1 underscore slave, and this is the file that contains the temperature data. Now type in catw1 underscore slave in order to see the contents of the file. You can see that this file has two lines. The yes in the first line indicates that the data is valid. The digits listed after t equals in the second line is the temperature in Celsius and translates to 21.8 degrees Celsius. Now that we know the device is collecting and writing data, we can now access it with some Python code. Open up an IDE that you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and use the Python IDLE for this exercise. Next, you can copy and paste the code from the Python script link in the description. I tested the code and it does work on Python 3.7. <laughs> the code is a bit dated and verbose, so if you want to clean it up with some more efficient string methods and other updated methods, <laughs> then uh, go at it. Uh, if I run this now, you can see that I'm getting temperature readings from the device. And if I grab the thermometer with my hand, I can see the sensor readings update. And that, my friends, is all there is to setting up and using this sensor. Please check the video description for the relevant links and downloads. Let me know in the comments how you plan to use this device, I'm really curious. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and check out some of these other videos. Talk to you later.